Organizers, here's a little update with Timmy the Mustang. So this was his first time coming in the indoor arena and we went into the little cross tie area here and I didn't attach him to the cross ties. He's just standing in the cross ties and decided to try uh, brushing him, which he actually did really, really well. Didn't flinch at the brush or anything, seemed to kind of understand what was going on. And then we did some uh, leg touches. I still haven't asked him to actually pick up his feet yet. First, I like to build their confidence with just touching all over and being able to uh, touch everywhere. And then the next step will be to start working on actually lifting those legs. But first, we just want relaxation with being touched everywhere. So he did really well with that, touching from uh, both sides, front and back legs. And then here's him in the indoor ring doing um, a little bit of just moving his body parts around which he did really really well and actually i think he did a better job at doing this than elon did if uh, we kind of compare the two when elon was first learning how to move his hips around and his shoulders around he was a little bit more reactive than timmy is timmy actually seems to be more confident now that he knows that i'm not going to hurt him and uh, we have a really good relationship he's really kind of um chill about this whole thing you can see he's got his head pretty low most of the time and doing really kind of calm thinking steps and even moving his shoulders he was completely okay with me having my hand on his shoulders whereas when elon was first learning how to do his moving of the shoulders he didn't really want me to have my hand on his shoulders right away. And I'm just doing a little bit of touching there as well. He backed up a couple steps and then just kind of asking him to stand still and continuing on with that. Doing a little bit more rubs. I'm going to ask him to go the other way. And you can see I've got my hand on his shoulder and he's not upset by that, which is really fantastic. I still have to, he doesn't really understand what's going on, so I'm kind of guiding him around with his nose a little bit and helping him figure out the answer, looking to get those cross steps. But I was really, really impressed. I thought it would be a little bit more jumpy or a little bit more flighty, but he seems to really have settled down a lot and has gotten a lot more confident. You can see touching his legs on his both sides there, standing really, really nicely. He's looking like a totally different horse which is fantastic here's a little bit of moving his hips the other way again looking for those cross steps which he's doing really nicely and not being flighty at all to move around which is fantastic his backup cue he was a little bit stiff on or a little bit unsure so that took a little bit more patience and a little bit of pressure but he didn't go flying backwards or anything like that he didn't get overreactive and get flighty but of course I'm really careful about how much pressure I'm putting on him I'm adding a little bit of pressure but I'm quick to release when he moves his feet and to give him little bits of praise I'm giving him some scratches for rewards and then uh, I do have a little bucket of sweet feed that he gets to have some treats out of he's not super keen on the cookies yet he's starting to eat the cookies mixed in with the grain and so eventually we'll have him transitioned over onto some cookies which will allow for kind of a faster reward but instead i just kind of take him over and give him a little bit of his uh, bucket of food there every so often when he's doing a good job which also gives us this time to just kind of relax and chill and have that loose rope walking over the poles he like barely kind of looks at one and then goes up and over so that was pretty cool he's really easy going about that so we'll keep building on those types of things our goal is to first get him ready for having his feet trimmed and then for the vet and all of these other little pieces that we're doing just help him to get comfortable with people and everything around him so he's doing really 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 well on all that stuff and then this is a look at him getting his first deworming. So I'm just kind of letting him sniff it. Sometimes horses will bite it on their own and then I can just 
put it in their mouth. And I always get the apple flavored one so that way it's a little bit nicer for them. I try to have it not be super awful for them. So I'm just kind of offering it to him to see if he'll bite it on his own, which he smells it and he's like, yeah, no thanks. So then I have to work on kind of putting it in his mouth a little bit, which I start by just kind of rubbing him and then I'm going to just kind of rub him with the syringe on the side of his mouth and kind of go in his mouth without actually putting any medicine in his mouth to start with and just kind of reassure him that I'm not actually trying to kill him or hurt him or anything like that. And then kind of touching him again at the side. And he's a little bit too all over the place, but if I hold on to his halter and just kind of steady things a little bit, then it makes it a lot easier. And so this time I give him the medicine. And he's like, that tastes funny. So then now it's a matter of trying to keep his head up a little bit so that way he swallows the dewormer. And I like to use the safeguard dewormer because if um, I end up giving more than their actual weight. So if you give too much safeguard, it's not, it's not one of the bad ones like Quest, where if, um, if you accidentally give too much, you could potentially really make your horse sick or even kill them, where a safeguard isn't quite like that. And so I give them the full tube, even though they don't need the full tube, because I am kind of assuming that they're going to spit out some of the dewormer, which he did spit out a little bit of it because uh, it's hard to just get them to swallow the whole thing. But if you got too much, it's not really the same concern. So here I'm just going to walk him over, get his little bucket of treaties, make sure he's still happy with me and willing to eat out of his little grain bucket there. And he's like, hey, wait a second, I got some funny tasting stuff in my mouth. And I just hold the little bucket underneath so you can get a little bit more. And then that way we end on a really positive note still. And he's not thinking that something really awful happened to him. He's just thinking that was kind of a yucky treat and not so keen on that. So he's come leaps and bounds. I'm pretty excited to see how he does uh, over the next couple weeks. With um, I've got a staff member that's starting to work with him. And uh, we'll see how he goes. Thanks for watching.